Mac OS server has a component called Mac OS caching server. Um, so grab Mac OS server from the App Store. Once it's bought and downloaded, you'll find it in the Applications folder. Setup is extremely simple. Open the app, continue, agree, password, and it'll then be set up. Uh, just while that's going through, let's just talk about what actually is a caching server. So a caching server will keep copies of certain iCloud content on your computer and serve it to other computers on the network. Things such as iTunes, anything in iTunes and iBooks, Mac OS updates, Mac App Store apps, GarageBand content, um, iCloud data such as photos and documents, iOS updates, Apple TV updates, apps for both of those platforms, iTunes U, I wonder if that means podcasts now. Siri voices, language dictionaries. So that when any of your iOS devices request something, and it happens to already have been requested at some previous point by another iOS device, or Mac I guess, it'll grab it straight from your local computer, your local storage, instead of going to Apple. It's normal for this preparing profile manager service step to take quite a while, so just have patience with that. And when it's complete, it'll open up the macOS server. Give you a quick tutorial. I'm just going to close that. And then you can see down on the left hand side, the very first service option is called caching. Now, they're very, very simple options here. Firstly, we'll switch it on up the top right. Uh, and now, if it's just your home, under the permissions section, you're not going to have to worry about too much. But if you've got some sort of corporate or university network, you probably want to uh, change these settings here to determine where you're actually serving this content. Okay, let's get out of here. Um, if you do make any changes, it will prompt you to restart the caching server. Ah. That prompt was actually to restart any iOS devices on the network to let them take advantage of the caching server. Now the cache size is quite important. Set it as big as you can manage. This is just a small test computer that I've got it on. So I'm gonna set it to 100 gig, but set it to as big as possible to take full advantage of what can be cached. Uh, there is an option to change the location and that's really all there is to it.